Alrighty guys, I hope you all had an amazing holiday and uh, looking forward to the New Year's, uh, get out of this year, 2021. It's been a rough year, but um, yeah, today we're not going to be, do we're doing a Mystery Tackle Box unboxing, but not just any Mystery Tackle Box unboxing. We're going to be doing the mother load or more in reality what it looks like, the mother load. There's no fancy like markup or anything like there is with the normal Mystery Tackle Boxes, like all the way up to the Elite or Pro Edition, I don't know. And uh, this is the bass fishing kit. I don't know if they make any other ones that are uh, other than bass fishing for the mother load. I know they make like walleye, panfish, and whatnot up to like the pro. But yeah, so this is the mystery tackle box um, mother load. This is what it comes in, just like a normal cardboard box. And uh, yeah, we're going to get to unboxing it. Alrighty, so we're going to start this uh, unboxing off with a couple of like the little paper things that you get within the mystery tackle box. You get one of these little MTB things, which is inside every mystery, mystery tackle box, and it shows you the list of everything you got so you can look up how much your box is actually worth. Now, the box itself is worth up to $80 in value, so you could either get a little more or a little less. That's what I've noticed with these mystery tackle boxes. Like, I sometimes I buy a 21, I get like $30 in value, or sometimes I get a 21, and it's like $15 in value. So there's really kind of like a push or pull. You got to pick which one is lucky and which one is not. The next thing that I'm going to do, which is unique to the uh, mother load, is you get a little booklet, actually. It gives you tips about fishing and whatnot. It's just it's something that's cool, and it's unique to the mother load. Next thing, this comes in, yet again, with every Mystery Tackle Box, is a sticker, which is really cool and makes me really wish that rod safes were a thing, but most likely it's going to go up on one of my gun safes. I've gotten a couple of cool ones in the past, and this is another cool one. Now, the last thing that you get with these which is what a lot of people kind of buy them for it's like a lottery ticket so basically what it is is right now like there's a chance to win a low stinger 175 and then you could get guggen squad guggen squad rods and a bunch of other prizes i already checked my code i didn't win anything unfortunately but that's all cut the little uh like paper items that come within this and uh yeah let's get on to the fish Alrighty, so first up on the list we have a uh arc z th uh 36 yo know, 63 i'm sorry um lipless crankbait i've caught fish on this all year round i've caught them in the dead of summer i've caught them in the dead of winter when there's no ice up here in ohio like right now it's raining and it's probably like 45 degrees that i could probably go and catch a fish with that it'll lake nearby me and with all these baits i'm going to be showing you them unpackaged so you guys could get a, like a real si uh size scaling to them Next up on the list, we got some soft plastics. These are net baits in the green pumpkin magic color. These are awesome. Like you could catch basically anything on those. Well, like largemouth wise, you could catch largemouth, smallmouth. I mean, I know people that have called, called walleye on soft plastics. But yeah, those are amazing. You can put them on any rig, really. It's a soft plastic, so always good because they're very universal and all. But uh, yeah, so there's that. Now, this next bait is something that my channel is not familiar to because there is a, another MTB unboxing video that I did, and it was the uh, Elite. And I got one of those these uh, Yozuri knuckle baits. It's basically a spinner bait, but I've actually never used it. It's in a uh, half ounce, 14 grams for people who use grams, which a lot of people do. But yeah, so it's like one of those, it's weird. Instead of putting a spinner, you get like this weird like square, like hexagony um style of uh spinner bait i wonder how it affects the motion and whatnot i'm gonna have to test that um in the spring see how those perform but uh i think they perform pretty well if they're in a mystery tackle box it's just you got to figure out how to work them correctly um the mystery tackle bo boxes as a whole is a way to introduce people into fishing with new lures and being able to implement new techniques into their fishing style which is what i actually really do enjoy about mystery tackle box because even though i've been fishing for years and i'm getting to the point where i start to know a lot more than a typical person there's nothing wrong with picking up new things and it's always good to have another tool belt tool in your belt you know so yeah that's that and um yeah on to the next bait the next bait we have we have another ned bait it is these crawfish style baits they're called the uh Danger June bug in the June bug color. It's an eight pack and they're four and a half inches long. But yeah, these are just like another like trailer. You could throw them on a rig. You throw them on a tech. You could throw them on a jig. You could put them on a Texas rig and throw them by themselves. Like the you could throw them on. I mean, 
just going off what's in the mystery tackle box, I could use this as a trailer for the Yozuri. And uh, yeah, yet again, another soft plastic that's universal to whatever you really, I mean, if you could put a hook in it, you basically can do it. The next bait I got is a, another lipless crankbait, but I'm pretty sure this is like a high value crankbait and it's, it's kind of like in a golden carpish color, which is really nice. I like it. It's kind of unusual compared to what uh, you probably typically throw for a largemouth bass and it's probably, it'll be a good change of pace if you actually do get this. It has a really good rattle on it. I mean, that's it in the plastic and it's really, I'm sure it's got sharp, sharp hooks. I mean, like I said, I'm taking all these out for you guys and I'm going to be showing you them. But it, this is a 15, 16 ounce. So it's a heavier bait. So you guys probably fishing like your 12 to 13 foot deep waters. And yeah, so there, another amazing bait. Next up on the list, we have another soft plastic. It is a big bite bait. It's like a grub trailer. I mean, it's really a creature bait. It's got like claws and pincers. So it's probably, it's another crossfish bait, essentially. Yet again, another trailer bait, Texas rig bait. Um, I've caught plenty of fish on trailers and other creature bait like these. And uh, so far, this pack is sizing up to be worth its value. It's $60 in value. And I probably have like 30 bucks right now. And I'm about halfway through it. But yeah, on to the next bait. Now, the next bait that I got is unusual and something that you're pretty much only throwing in spring and summer, which is odd that it came in this uh, mystery tackle box just because these are very monthly centered, like, fish, it's fishing tackle. So they're, like, very, very, like, clear in what you get. So either I got an old one or I got one that's, they just decided to throw this on top of. But it is a live target hollow body shad. Now this is a top water bait. I'm, and it, I'm pretty sure it has the action of a spook. Now this is one of the, this is something I'm most excited to throw in this ring out of all the things I've unboxed right now. It looks really fun. It looks like it'll be really good to use. I love throwing top water in spring and summer. I use a lot of fro uh, frogs. I use a lot of spinner baits. I use a lot of, not sp yeah, spinner baits. I use a lot of uh, buzz baits and whatnot. So yeah, I'm really excited to use this and it looks like it'll be something that'll be commonly thrown in my arsenal. Now, this soft plastic is something that another thing I'm all excited for because I love fast fishing moving. I don't like kind of like beating the bank as much. I like throwing and cover as much ground as possible. So this is definitely one of those baits that you can use. These are meant to be like, it's by x as you guys can see, and it is like a uh, small bait fish style lure. Now these, it, it's in another watermelon magic color. So like real universal, you could throw it anywhere basically and you could most likely catch something and yeah so that's like another great like trailer for that's like a trailer for a like a uh spinner bait or you could throw it on text rig and just kind of beat it fast and yeah that's just another thing that's great about these mystery tackle boxes because even though there's a lot of soft plastics and people like to get hard baits like hard plastics and whatnot and uh but you get stuff like this and then you realize the true universal like universal use for these baits Alrighty, so the final bait that I got is a square bill crankbait in like kind of a neon green color. Now this is good for fishing like muddy lakes and whatnot or just throwing something different. It is made by Fat Boy, I'm assuming. And it, this is a half ounce, four foot deep crankbait. Now, which is really good because I do a lot of pond hopping and shallow water fishing. So this is something definitely that'll be good for whatever pond I go to I mean you could hit the bank with this and switch to one of these lip lists that you got in the box and just go deeper and deeper into the water but that's what I'm saying like all this stuff that they give you is like setting you up for like a day of fishing as it is in itself and you could most likely depending on the weather catch a fish on almost every single bait that is given in this box This is something I typically don't show on my Mystery Tackle Box uh, unboxing videos because it's a hook. But these hooks are unique. I don't know if you guys could see there, but there's a crazy bend in it. I have no clue what I'm going to be using these for. Uh, to me, it looks like probably like Texas rigs, but 
that is something very strange in my opinion but it's definitely something i'm open to trying and that's oh, that's everything i got in the this uh unboxing so yeah overall we got 12 12 items within it and it's i mean it's definitely been worth it like hooks are expensive everything that i've shown you guys is expensive to buy like on its own so when you get a mystery tackle box and you get all this stuff for a set value if it totals out to be more than the box's value itself it's really it really is a good payoff the last thing that i got today is just a piece of terminal tackle really it is a mustard net uh nico rig o-ring holder comes with o-rings on it and yeah i don't really typically fish uh nico ring let me just be sure it says nico yeah nico it's a nico ring holder basically and since i typically don't use it i mean it's something i'm gonna have to try to use now that i got a bunch of nico rings and it'll just it'll, it's just something new that's what everyone's gonna try like a new technique of fishing because sometimes they'll be by nailing them on texas rigs sometimes they'll be nailing them on ned rigs sometimes they'll be nailing them drop shotting there's just like the fish want a different thing to like weather cold like warmness of the water depth and whatnot so this is definitely something that i'm gonna have to try to implement more into my fishing tackle box Alrighty guys, thank you so much for viewing this video. I hope you all did enjoy and uh, happy holidays yet again. This is definitely the last video I'm posting before New Year's because I just don't have anything that I need to produce yet. But yeah, hope you all did enjoy. If you did enjoy, be sure to that like and subscribe button down below. Eventually I'm going to be making a fishing video with all those lures. And yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy and have an amazing day. Peace out guys.